This is a horoscope tarot reading for Aquarius Love Life from August 27th through September 7th, 2020. Let's get to it. What do we got for our Aquarius? We start with the Moon card upright, the Two of Cups reversed, and the Temperance card upright. It seems that something about your situation or a person in your life is not what it appears to be. There's something being kept secret from you. It involves some sort of rebalancing to the relationship. The Two of Cups in the reverse position usually relates to a romantic relationship. And it seems you've been waiting for this balance to be restored. I feel like you're waiting for somebody to come towards you. The path of the moon card leads towards the horizon. It could be a Pisces, maybe a Scorpio. And the path of the temperance card is moving from the horizon. The mountains in the horizon represent risk. Huh. I feel your person is going to be risking something coming towards you. Let's see first, what's being kept secret from our Aquarius? We got the King of Wands up, right? The Knight of Cups reversed. And the Emperor card up, right? Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. It appears you have a love interest. Someone very passionate, very charming. Well-spoken, sexy. But this person also has a tendency to be a bit self-centered, hot-tempered, controlling. This person may have disappointed you in the past. Perhaps they revoked an offer you gave them or some sort of proposal. There's also an indication that they've been procrastinating or avoiding taking action towards you neglecting you but it appears now they're making you their main priority i feel the secret is they had a change of heart towards you but they don't want you to know it it's like they don't want you to know you're their emperor they don't want you to know you have power over them perhaps this is the balance you've been awaiting to be restored Let's take a look at this person. What are their intentions towards our Aquarius? We got the Wheel of Fortune upright. Six of Swords reversed. And the Six of Wands reversed. Surrender. More Sagittarius and Pisces energy. The Wheel of Fortune is generally an indicator of luck or destiny. It's also a signifier of change for the greater good, positive change. I feel the universe is pushing this person towards you to the point that they're abandoning their plans and taking the road of least stability, taking a risk. And I mentioned in the first spread, the mountains represent risk. Well, they're definitely going to be taking a risk coming towards you. It's like they know they disappointed you in the past. And now they're ashamed. I don't get a bad feeling about this person. I feel they're coming towards you with pure intentions. But will our Aquarius take them back? We got the Seven of Wands reversed. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. And the Page of Pentacles upright. Wow. The Seven of Wands reverse also means surrender. Yeah, 
You're lowering your defenses. Looks like you're both apologetic. Maybe ego got in the way in the past, but now it appears like you're both giving into this connection. Seems like whatever caused that instability between you was all to do with some big miscommunication. Maybe you both weren't ready for this commitment at that time. And this time apart allowed you to do some growing. But this person is bringing with them an offer and a vision. And it looks like something fun. This person definitely wants to lay down a foundation with you. and They're thinking about a long-term future. I'm getting the feeling that you will not only take them back, but you want to take them back. What's this offer that Aquarius's love interest is bringing? We got the Ten of Swords reversed. The World card upright. And the Nine of Cups upright. The conflict is over. The Ten of Swords reversed means something is coming back from the brink of failure. Like, there's a learning from past mistakes. So I feel this offer will involve a plan on how not to repeat those mistakes in the future. And the world card signifies that new worlds will be opening up to you. Whatever this offer is, it's going to be big. It can also represent finally achieving a dream or an aspiration, such as starting a business or getting married, having children. And the Nine of Cups indicates your wishes will be coming true or your dreams will become a reality. This spread is all about triumph, success, achievement. If you've been hoping for a bigger commitment with this person, it's pretty clear you're gonna get it. What is a message for Aquarius' highest good? We got the Nine of Swords upright. The Hangman upright. And the Knight of Swords reversed. It appears you're being tormented by your thoughts. Overthinking some sort of issue or thinking negatively. Like you can't shake a memory or your mind can't stop churning it over and over. It seems maybe you have some self-limiting beliefs that you need to let go of. And I feel this needs to happen in order for you to turn the Knight of Swords around and have this person appear in your life. Everything is about divine timing and maybe there's something you need to fix before the universe allows this person into your life. Whatever it is, the Knight of Swords is an incredibly fast moving energy. So I feel that your person is already ready to come towards you. But you may need to push through some sort of mental or physical block to allow the universe to bring this person into your life. Okay, well that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I wish you the best with your choices and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.